In this video, we're going to dive into the realm of Nux on Vercel. Now, if you're not familiar with Nux, it is a powerful view framework that allows you to build serverless applications with ease. You can think of it kind of like what Next.js is for React. And when you deploy your Nux applications on Vercel, you unlock a range of features that make your development experience even more seamless, including serverless functions, edge functions, middleware, incremental static regeneration, and image optimization, just to name a few. Now, Vercel recently released a suite of serverless storage solutions, including Vercel KV, which is a Redis storage solution. And given the close collaboration between the Nux team and Vercel, they've already integrated support for Vercel KV into Nitro, enabling high performance key value storage in your Nux applications. So in the remainder of this video, I'm going to dive into how you can get started with Vercel KV in your Nux application. Now, before we get started, let's take a quick look at the application we're going to be working with. It's an extremely simple app that uses Vercel KV to save the number of page visits to the app. So as you can see, each time the page is refreshed, this value increases. And this demo is available at Vercel's template marketplace if you want to clone it and get started from there. I will link it down in the description below. Now, the first thing we need to do is create a new Vercel KV store. And we can do this in the Vercel dashboard by clicking Add New and then selecting Storage. Now we can click Create Database, select KV, give the database a name and region, and then boom, the database has been created. Now let's copy our ENV values and open up our project in our text editor. Now I've already created a Nux project that has Tailwind installed. So let's create a new ENV file and paste in our values. Next, we need to install Vercel KV into this project. So we can do this by running the command npmi at Vercel slash KV. And finally, in our Nux config file, we can add a few lines of configuration to set up a cache with durable storage for application like this. So here we're using the Vercel KV Nitro integration, which I'll link the docs to in the description below. And Nux automatically reads the KV REST API URL and the KV REST API token environment variables for our KV database. So now we can easily store data in any event handler. So let's move into our server route to see how we actually store and use data. So here we are initializing our storage variable using the useStorage function, which creates a connection to our KV store. Next, we're retrieving the value of a data item called page visits using the getItem method of the storage object. We then increment this value by one and save the updated value to our database using the setItem method. And finally, we're returning this updated value to be used in our page. Now, if we check out where we're using this in our application, we can see we're fetching page visits from the server route and displaying it up in the HTML like this. If we run this locally, we'll see that each time we refresh the page, the value of page visits increments by one, so this is working as we'd expect it to. Now, let's push this code up to our repo and head back to the Vercel dashboard. We are going to create a new project so that we can deploy this application. To do this, we can once again click the Add New button, but this time we're going to select Project. Now we just need to select the repo that we want to connect and click deploy. Okay, so now our app is deployed, but you'll notice if we visit it that there's no page visits value being displayed. This is because our project is not yet connected to the KV store we created earlier. So to connect it back in the dashboard, we just need to click on storage and connect store and then select the KV store we created earlier. Now, if we check it out again, we'll see our page visits value is being displayed. And then finally, I want to mention that you can query the database using the KV CLI in our Vercel dashboard. So if we click into this database and run get page visits, we'll see the value of page visits is being returned to us. All right, so that's it for today's video. As you can see, it's extremely simple to get started with Vercel KV on Nux. Again, this template is available at our templates marketplace, which I have linked in the description below if you want to go clone that to get started. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. See ya.